Most Protected Nigerian Actors and Actresses As much as actors and actresses are agents of entertainment, hence should be loved, the world has turned them into agents to be jealous, trolled and hated. Welcome to today's video and we'll be looking at Most Protected Nigerian Actors and Actresses Number 7 Anayo Modestus Onyekwere Anayo is popularly known as Kanayo Okanayo and he was born on 1st March 1962. He doubles as a Nigerian actor and a lawyer. In 2006, he won the African Movie Academy Award for Best Actor in a leading role for his performance in the movie Family Battle. Kanayo declared his interest on 6 June 2018 to represent the Ahiazu Ezehite Mbiaise Federal Constituency of Imo State at the House of Representatives the following election year, which was 2019. He made this known to the public, stating he was going to be under the All Progressives Grand Alliance. He lost the election, but he was expected to run the next election year, which is next year 2023. But in 2022, Kanayo declared not to run in any elections again. Despite this, he is still one of the most protected Nigerian actors, having dual personality. Number 6 Ekene Dilichuku Ogochuku Eric Nwenwe Professionally known as Ken Eric's Ugo, or simply Ken Eric's. He is a Nigerian film and television actor, writer, producer and occasional musician. He is popularly known for his role as Ugo in the movie The Illiterate, alongside Tonto Decay and Yul Educhi. He is from Anambra State and has a great security system around him always. Number 5 Kenneth Okonkwo Ken was born on November 6, 1968 and is a veteran Nigerian actor, lawyer and politician, widely known for his role in the movie Living in Bondage as Andy Okeke. In 2013, he won the African Movie Academy Award on a special recognition of Pillars of Nollywood. In 2015, he was given a special recognition award by the organizers of the City People Entertainment Awards for his contribution to the growth of entertainment in Nigeria. He is equally one of the most loved and protected Nigerian actors. Number 4 Nkiru Silvanus Born 21st April 1985, Silvanus is a Nigerian actress and politician. She has featured in over 200 movies and won the awards for Best Actress of the Year at the Africa Magic Viewers' Choice Awards and Best Actress in Leading Role at the Africa Movie Academy Awards. In 2011, Silvanus was included in the cabinet of former governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha, as his special assistant on Lagos State Affairs, and later became his special advisor on public affairs. Silvanus, who was a special assistant to former governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha, on public affairs, was kidnapped on 15 December 2012 at 2.30 p.m., as reported by various reputable Nigerian media houses. A Vanguard media publication reported that a ransom of 100 million naira, which was equivalent to $640,000, was demanded by her kidnappers in exchange for her release. This has reportedly licensed the trio personality in tight security system. Number 3 Tonto Charity DK Born 9 June 1985, Tonto DK is a Nigerian actress, singer, songwriter and humanitarian as well as a politician. On 27 August 2000, Tonto DK set up her foundation, the Tonto DK Foundation. In June 2022, Tonto was announced as the deputy governorship candidate under the African Democratic Congress in the 2023 River State gubernatorial election. She was welcomed by the people of Port Harcourt after her declaration as deputy governor. Tonto DK in early October 2021 engaged herself in a web of controversy after publishing in her social media handles purported voice notes suggesting that her ex-lover, Joseph Egbri, popularly known as Prince Popogri, had sex tapes and nude photos on his smartphone of Usiwo Orizemena Jane, a Nigerian dancer popularly known as Jane Mena. 
DK was reported to have made the allegations in the wake of a messy breakup with her ex-lover, Popo Gri. Many other controversial stories packed up on social media about the king, as she calls herself. Personally, she is aware of her dark wishes, and you can clearly see a host of well-built-up security around her wherever she goes. Number 2 Yul Chibuke Daniel Educhi Popularly known as Yul Educhi and born on the 7th of January 1982, Yul is a Nigerian actor named after Russian actor Yul Briner. He hails from Anambra State, Nigeria, the son of Nigerian veteran actor Pete Educhi. He was raised both in Lagos and Enugu. Educhi is married to May Aligwe and has three sons and one daughter. On April 27, 2022, the actor revealed that he had taken fellow actor Judy Austin as his second wife, as well as their newborn son. This news was met with backlash from many colleagues and fans, as well as a show of support from others. On the 14th of July 2017, Educhi declared his intention to run for governor of Anambra State. This declaration was made in anticipation of a not too young to run bill passed by the state of the federal government of Nigeria. The declaration was however made official on the 22nd of August 2017 when he picked up the nomination form of the Democratic People's Congress political party and was eventually the flag bearer and gubernatorial candidate of the party to run for governor of Anambra state. Yul Aduchi has declared his intention to run for the post of President of Nigeria in the 2023 presidential elections. Since he announced taking a second wife, the media love and support he used to have went down slope and has uncovered his enemies as well. Because of these, his security and interage has got him covered. Number 1 Akindele Bello Olufonke Ayotunde. Born 24th August 1977, she's popularly known as Funke Akindele or Jennifer. She's a Nigerian actress, politician, and producer. She rose to fame for a role in the movie titled Jennifer, where she earned the name Jennifer. The Omogeto trilogy contributed to her fame. In 2022, Jennifer was nominated by the People's Democratic Party gubernatorial candidate for the 2023 Lagos State Governorship election. Among others, Akindele ranks as the most protected actress in Nigeria due to her trio personality mingled with controversial results which makes it a crew for a glued security system around her. Fame comes with a price. And the possibility of the prize being your freedom is just so annoying, but why not? Well guys, this brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching.